Hi, this is Jenny Owens, and this is How I See It. Today, we are going to talk about my favorite thing in the world, a piano. Well, maybe it's not my favorite thing, but really close. Um, when I was two, my favorite pastimes were climbing my bedroom shelves and finger painting my bedroom wall. But they got me in trouble. And then I found the piano that lived in our dining room that my parents had gotten from our church. They were going to throw it away. So it came to live in our dining room. And I figured out that you could play a note and you could sing all kinds of songs over it. And they sounded really good, like, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, Mary had a little lamb. So that was my first entree into piano. And I think my mom kind of got maybe a little tired of hearing those few notes. Or maybe she just was excited that I loved piano. And uh, so she sent me to piano lessons where I learned how to play classical piano. And the way that I learned, there were two uh, elements to my learning piano. One was uh, memorization, so my teachers would uh, teach me a part, uh, half a song maybe, or a fourth of a song. I would try to memorize it over the next week and come back and play it again. And the other thing is they taught me technique, so they actually you know, would um, take my fingers and show me the proper way to play a scale, and, um, which was really, really cool. Um, they would also, uh, as I got older, especially as I got into high school and college, I would use braille music, um, which is a very, very complicated method of reading, but uh, works really well for sight reading vocal lines. Not so much for piano, because you have to memorize each hand, each hand's part before you can play it. I also um, used, a lot of times I would use a recorder. When the pieces got harder, harder I would use some sort of uh, recorder to record um, how the parts were played. But the thing about the piano that's really cool um, is that there's so much you can do by feel. So I know that the fourth C up is going to be middle C, so I don't even have to play anything to know that. The notes work in such a way that you, you know, there's groups of two black notes, three black notes. So you can find your way around the piano just by knowing knowing where all the keys are, knowing them by name. Piano really is quite easy to play if you're blind. Uh, you just learn to memorize how the keyboard feels, you learn to count, and voila, you're done. So uh, thanks for hanging out today. I hope you're practicing your piano right now, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.